welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. Um, I am running way behind. I've got an appointment in like 15 minutes, <laughs> so I do not have long to eat breakfast. I slept so bad last night. I woke up at like 2 in the morning, then 3 in the morning, then 4 in the morning, and then by the time it got to 5 in the morning, literally didn't get back to sleep. Um, but then I, I thought I'll just stay in bed because, you know, I don't want to be up at five and it's still dark then. So I must have fallen asleep around like eight, I reckon, and I just totally overslept and now I've got like no time at all to eat breakfast. So I'm gonna go for something really quick and easy, just some basically cereal, but it's muesli. And then I always like to add a bit of granola on the top as well. So I put them into these jars and this muesli is from Rude Health and it's called the Ultimate Muesli. And this is also from Rude Health and I think that one's also called the Ultimate Granola. And then again some Rude Health almond drink it's called but it's basically almond milk. And I always top it with some raspberries and some blueberries. This is basically just like my go-to breakfast when I don't have a lot of time to make anything else. Um, just super, super quick, still really good for you and absolutely delicious. I've just realised this breakfast is really similar to my breakfast in my last What I Eat In A Day video. Um, I think it was when I was in Florida, I basically had muesli with granola and then raspberries and blueberries. But I told you, it's my go-to breakfast, so <laughs> this is just what I eat. Um, today I'm out and about, uh, I haven't planned anything, like normally these videos I try to like plan, you know, a nice recipe or something to show you, but I haven't really planned anything, so I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to be eating for the rest of the day, but we shall see. So I've just been out and about running a few errands, nothing too exciting and I've just got home and I thought while I am home I'm going to run through a little bit more about sourced box. I did film a Q&A last Sunday that you guys might have seen about um, like health and fitness and I answered a few of your questions about sourced box but I really stupidly, um, the camera stopped filming while I was explaining what sourced box was. So that video might not have made that much sense at the end because I just randomly started talking about Saucebox without saying what Saucebox was. Um, so yeah, that happened. So I'm gonna just briefly explain what Saucebox is. I've got it here and I'm super, super excited. I can't believe I've actually got the box physically here. It's, I've been working on this for so many months now and to actually see it is just amazing. So Sourcebox is basically a healthy snack subscription box of about like 12 to 15 snacks in each box and it comes within the first week of every month apart from the first month. We have actually launched now, we launched on Thursday this week and so it's Sunday now so you guys can go and order your box and because it's the first month it will be uh, the last week of January time that the box will be delivered but from that point on it will always be the first week of every month. Um, it's basically the reason I did it is myself, Marcus and our friend Max as well so it's the three of us that are running it. Um, the reason we did it is because you guys know how into like health and fitness Marcus and I are um, and we really struggled to find healthy snacks so when we would like go to food stores like grocery stores anything supermarkets it would be really hard to actually find healthy uh, snacks that were even labeled healthy they would just have loads of salt and sugar in there and loads of preservatives and chemicals and I couldn't find anything on the market that was actually a healthy subscription box Sorry, I'm really rambling now. Long story short, Sourced Box has been born and I'm just so excited and I really hope you guys like it as much as I have. So I'm going to quickly show you um, this. The reason I'm showing it in this video is because I'm going to be snacking on these this stuff like all day. <laughs> so I thought I would show you the full box. So this is the box right here. It has a little sticker there that has been totally destroyed by me because I've already opened it. And inside we have Sourced by Us, and again a sticker, and I've totally destroyed this, but it normally looks much nicer than this, I promise. And then inside we have all of our snacks, so we've got Rude Health Mini Rice Thins, we've got Broccoli Crisps, these are amazing by the way. Oh my god, this drink is 
absolutely incredible. I might actually have to take that with me now because I need that in my life. This spicy pizza, they're almost like crackers. They're just such a great snack to have throughout the day. Sassy's flapjacks. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to talk about this. So Sassy is a girl who has set up this company. She's so young and she's just the loveliest person in the world. I've met her a couple of times and she's just absolutely brilliant. Her snacks are really good. They taste amazing. You wouldn't even know they're healthy, but the ingredients are absolutely amazing. So we had to have that in the box. Then of course, Polson, because you know I have Polson's all the time. Um, these bars are really good. Love raw. Then we've got a mix of like fruit, nuts and seeds in this really cute tube. That's like perfect to take to work with you, just having your handbag. Of course, I had to get a Bluebird involved. Bluebird Tea Company are just my favourite teas. I talk about them in so many videos, so they're really lovely to have put that in the box as well. I'm really, really excited for you to try that. Then we've got Snacked, which is apple and mango fruit jerky. I love mango. It's one of my favourite fruits, so yeah, I'm so happy that's in here. Pippa Nut, love Pippa Nut. This is a coconut almond butter. It's so delicious. It just tastes a bit different to any of the others that I've had. And this one is coconut, and it just tastes absolutely amazing. It's so Moorish. Apparently, you can just have these as like a post-workout snack on their own. I really like it on the rice thins, though, so I would advise like just squirting some on top of the rice thins if you get the box. And last but not least, the Ombar buttons. I just love Ombar. I spoke about this in my last um, video, the Q&A. These are cocoa milk, so it's basically milk chocolate, but made with coconut milk instead of dairy milk. They taste so good, I can't even explain to you. I might have to take these with me. Yeah, I'm gonna take them in the car with me later. <laughs> Yeah, that's the box. So many delicious snacks. And you can have these snacks like throughout the month, make them last, or just, you know, eat them at your own pace, basically. It's your box. I'm not going to tell you when to eat them. I'm one of those people that just get far too excited and I end up eating like everything almost in a couple of days. <laughs> it's so bad. But I just want to try everything. I can't wait. So because I'm out most of the day, I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to take some chocolate buttons and, oh, I'm going to take some broccoli crisps as well. See, I told you, I can never make stuff last. So I'm just about to have the Rebel Kitchen chocolate milk. It's 100% dairy free. And the reason it's in the box is because it's just so simple and the ingredients are amazing. It's literally made of water, coconut milk, organic date nectar and cacao. So it's just like really simple and wholesome. And of course, being dairy free, it's nice for me to have something that's like chocolate milk basically but it's made of coconuts. <laughs> so I'm just in a taxi on my way to meet my lovely manager, Amy. We're gonna do a bit of work together, going to meet her somewhere in Soho. Hopefully there's gonna be food because I need lunch. Because <laughs> I'm so hungry, I'm going to tuck into these, the Giving Tree Broccoli Crisps. And I had no idea like really what to expect when I first ever tried these. I was just intrigued as to know what broccoli crisps were. Um, I'm gonna show you because they're so cute. It's actually like broccoli, like this. And they taste absolutely amazing. Like you wouldn't think that they would taste good, but they really, really do. I'm just here with Amy, we're just about to have lunch, so of course I'm going to show you what I'm having. I've ordered some butternut squash soup and a couple of sides as well. Here's the soup, got some brown bread over there, got some glazed root vegetables, and Amy's got the same. Hi Amy! <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. And now it is time for dinner. I have been editing my first vlog for Vlogmas and that's just gone up now tonight. Um, and I haven't really thought about dinner. I was just sitting there like, oh my God, it's seven o'clock already. What am I gonna do for food? Um, so I've decided to kind of just create something. I don't know what it's gonna be like. Rice, vegetables, put some chopped tomatoes in there. Um, it should be good, so I'll show you what I'm planning on putting in there. So I've got red pepper, green chilli, a couple of really small sweet potatoes, a carrot, and some baby corn and beans, as well as some chopped tomato, kidney beans, and then I really, really love using these. They're Kalo 
really low salt organic vegetable stocks and I just use half of that. And I'm currently cooking this wild rice mix from Waitrose. I've just got half a cup of that rice in here with one cup of water. So I think what I'm going to do is just chop up the vegetables, like dice them, um, probably steam the carrot and sweet potato and just kind of put it all together. It should be really quick and easy. The only thing that takes long is the rice, that takes like half an hour. Um, but the rest of it should be really, really quick. And because I'm quite peckish already, I'm going to have some hummus and some really delicious uh, tortilla chips. It's this hummus here, the ingredients are really good. And these are the tortilla chips. They're unsalted, but they go really well with the hummus. And the ingredients are really good. I think it's literally just bean and rice and then maybe a little bit of oil. So the sweet potato has been steaming for about 10 minutes now and I've chopped up all the other veggies so I'm going to go ahead and put all of them in there to steam for like another 5-10 minutes. And the rice is coming along nicely and once all the vegetables are steamed I'm just going to put everything in there along with the beans and the chopped tomatoes and the chilli. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of herbs, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper because I just love spicy food and then some pepper as well. I feel like I kind of need to vlog with my face up because if I don't, look what happens to the lighting on my face. Look at that, look at those shadows, that is so unflattering. Um, <laughs> that was the quickest meal that I've ever thrown together. I don't really know what to call it because it's a bit of rice, beans, loads of veg. It smells amazing though, so hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. So the food I whipped up ended up being really good. I was actually pleasantly surprised. It took no time at all, like 30, 40 minutes, if that. Um, and also, I totally forgot about these on bar buttons. They've been in my bag and I didn't end up having them today. So I'm gonna just chill out, watch a film or something and enjoy my coconut milk buttons. So I'm gonna end this now and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I will see you very soon. Bye. Okay guys, do a you're doing a routine.